friends, welcome back to my channel. Just like many of you, I am always looking out for opportunities to make passive income. Obviously, my main source of income is my business, Roybe, where we manufacture and sell our educational robot for kids. I spend the majority of my time running the business from fundraising to marketing, sales, operations, and so much more. So I always want to find ways to generate more income without spending too much time. Over the past two years, I've gained about three hours a day due to not commuting to the office. This meant that I could use this time to research and learn more about investment and passive income. Before I tell you about the golden opportunity that I started investing in very recently, let me explain a couple of things that I tried in the past two years and what my experience has been. First of all, I am not a financial advisor and I only provide my opinion based on my own experience. Early 2020, when the whole market crash, I decided to start finding other opportunities to bring me passive income while I was working on my main business. I started taking a lot of lessons in investment, marketing, business development, and finance. From YouTube channels to books and online courses like Udemy, I spent several hours every day to gain new skills and earn more income. After all, because of staying at home, I had a lot more time on my hands. I first started learning more about online advertisement, Facebook and Google ads, which all of these led me to experience drop shipping. Everything seemed promising and I felt with three hours of extra time on my hand every day, I can create a side business that can generate income. And I started learning about AliExpress, Shopify integrations and put my skills into practice. I created a Shopify store in one day, spent the second day sourcing some products and added the necessary apps. And the third day I created Facebook videos and launched my campaign. I admit that I was so excited when I received my first order the very next day. It was like magic. I spent maybe $100 on Facebook ads and got my first order. High towards with drop shipping business is that you don't pay out of pocket. The customer places the order in your shop and pays for it. Then you order on AliExpress and get it shipped to the customer. Plus you do not keep any inventory or have any type of high risk. I spent three to four months doing this, but it was getting more and more expensive. The product prices on AliExpress kept going up, the cost of advertisement on Facebook went up. Even my ad account got banned by Facebook, which was very scary because I lost access to all of my accounts for about 72 hours. Another issue was shipping. I was getting complaints from people saying that it took so long for them to receive their products or they didn't even receive them. While online shopping went all time high, there have been so many problems with logistics and supply chain. So after three to four months of trying, I saw that I'm about to actually lose money and it became a very stressful experience. So I decided to put my money in something else and shut down the online store. It is worth to mention that there are still so many people that they do drop shipping and they make an insane amount of money. Over time, with high volume of orders and a lot of that on Facebook, the cost generally comes down. But for me, I found it to be way too much work with the limited amount of time that I have. So after I tried the e-commerce route, I felt the safest way to increase my income is to invest my money in the stock market. I was lucky that I acted quickly and bought a good amount of shares when the stock market crashed. I invested all my money in stocks somewhere around April and May 2020 in tech companies, travel and some high yield ETFs. In some of my investments, I've seen a growth rate of about 68%, which is great. 
Plus, a lot of these investments are considered safe because the companies are big and well-known. So the likelihood of them going out of business is actually low. This episode is brought to you by my company, Roybee. Named by Time Magazine as one of the best inventions in education, Roiby Robot is a smart learning system for kids. It teaches them languages, science, technology, and math. It comes with more than 1,000 lessons, games, songs, and stories. If you are looking for a learning companion that grows with your child, that teaches them skills beyond what they can learn at school, Roiby Robot is what you need. Go to roibyrobot.com and use coupon Y. T10 to get a 10% off your first order. The link is also in the description. It wasn't until a few months back that I finally found the golden way of increasing my income in a short amount of time. I am not talking about anything illegal, of course. I am talking about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. I remember 10 years ago when Bitcoin came out, I was so skeptical about it. I felt it was something that I could not understand at all. Plus, when the technology came out, it had a very bad reputation. People would consider crypto and blockchain uh, with drug dealers and people who wanted to do money laundering and move their assets on the dark web. The reason for this is because blockchain or cryptocurrency is on a DeFi network. This means the transactions get done on decentralized platforms and exchanges. Decentralized means it is not being controlled by one group like your bank or government. The bank is a centralized platform because it can control your money. At any time, the government or bank can freeze your accounts and you won't be able to access your own money. Because many people believe that they should be in control of their money, the DeFi concept was born. The transactions on a DeFi network gets done by numbers of people through smart contracts that are online and can be viewed by the whole world. This helps the community to make sure that nobody plays games in the transactions because everyone can see the codes and details of the transactions on an open network. One thing to keep in mind is that on these transactions, your name or information is not revealed. This makes the transactions to be safe, fast, and secure. Plus, you have control over your money. It wasn't until a few years ago that gradually cryptocurrency started showing up in the news and for people to start understanding it. Nearly half of millennials have at least 25% of their wealth in cryptocurrency. 83% of American millionaires have none of their wealth in crypto. This creates a tremendous opportunity for the rest of us to invest and gain an insane amount of return on our investments. The crypto and blockchain technologies are now a lot more accessible than ever before. There are many types of crypto assets that you can invest in. The safest ones would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, and a few more. There are many people in the world that became millionaires overnight due to their investment in cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. According to a tweet on Bitcoin's Twitter, in 2010, one Bitcoin was about 10 cents and in 2021, it went well about $60,000. It is insane when you think about the growth. Just imagine if you bought thousands or millions of Bitcoins 10 years ago, You really didn't have to work a single day in your life. Katie Wood, the investor at ARK Invest and a very prominent figure in the crypto market, predicts Bitcoin will surge to 500,000 in five years. This is absolutely insane. You may think that you already lost the opportunity, but I beg to differ. With everything gradually going more and more digital, digital currency is absolutely the future. Also, there are more and more people every day that support this revolution. For example, Walmart quietly started adding Bitcoin ATMs to their selected stores, or many websites have already started accepting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a payment method. El Salvador became the first country to adapt Bitcoin as national currency. There have been numerous interviews with the people who said getting paid in Bitcoin had changed their lives. 
This means there is going to be a huge bump in the value of cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, over the next few years. Personally, when I started trading crypto, I felt I got into the game late, but based on my observation over the past few months, all I can say is the game has not even started. As more and more millennials and the young generation understand the crypto market and its potential, we will see faster adoption and huge growth in digital currencies. You need to keep in mind that the crypto market is very unpredictable market. It can go up like crazy and then crash too. While you may be able to make a big chunk of money so fast, you should also be ready to lose some. For example, in 2020, Bitcoin crashed with the news of pandemic. We also experienced another crash in July 2021, which Bitcoin dropped from 60,000 to 30,000. And then in a matter of a few months, it went back to its all time high of 63,000 at the time of this recording. You always have the chance to buy more when the market crashes and it happens more than you can actually imagine. Now, you may ask how you can earn passive income with crypto. One simple way is to look out for the dip or crash and buy some cryptocurrencies. You can always buy a fraction of the coin with whatever amount of money you have. Then you need to wait for a few months just like any other stock assets for the price to rise. Then you can cash out your initial investment or the profit and invest in more coins. Personally, I like to create a recurring schedule to invest on a weekly basis. This is because a lot of times you don't want to keep waiting. You still can benefit even if you buy at a high price. This is because when you buy more crypto later at a lower price, it can justify the high price. Once you buy crypto, not just you can earn money every day as the value of your assets go up, you can also lend your crypto or stake it for an annual percentage. Staking means that you hold your crypto assets by just not selling them, you can earn passive income. The payment on your crypto is generally in the same form as crypto. For example, for one Ethereum, you may get 0.01 Ethereum depending on the price. If you already have an exchange account on like Robinhood, you cannot do lending or staking there. The best way to do this is to create an account on Coinbase and buy your crypto assets through that. Then you can create a crypto wallet like Coinbase or Trust Wallet. Through the wallet, you can exchange and transfer your crypto assets to the platforms you can earn interest from. Interest you can earn on your crypto is way more than any other bonds or even stocks. A lot of these places can give you interest up to 14% annually. According to crypto.com, if you convert your cash to USDT, you can get up to 14% annual interest. Let's say if you put in about 10,000 in your crypto account, you can get 1,400 on an annual basis, which is a great amount considering banks pay somewhere around 0.01 to 0.4%, which doesn't make any sense. Investing in crypto might be a high risk investment for some of you, but based on what I can see in the market, it is rapidly growing. Last week, I invested only 500 in a coin and doubled my investment in just two days and it is increasing. But I do recommend that you do not put all of your money in crypto. As they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Make sure to diversify your portfolio so if something goes wrong, your other investments can support you. Comment below and let me know what you think and if you have invested in crypto over the past year or so. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video to help others to learn about crypto and how they can earn passive income. Thank you guys for your support. It means the world to me. I'll see you in the next video.